Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Good afternoon. If it's afternoon, it might be the morning where you are. But howdy, and uh, this is What's Next Wednesday. And uh, I'm Dr. Michael Hyland, if you don't know me already. I am the host of Parkinson's Disease Education podcast and YouTube channel. And um, <clears throat> we are going to talk a little bit about tyrosine hydroxylase um, very briefly because I'm really just giving a little preview to upcoming content. That's what we do on the What's Next Wednesday videos. A um, little preview of upcoming content uh, uh, between the podcast and the channel. And uh, this was a popular topic on the last poll that we put out on the channel um, among several suggested topics. Um, I think I, I want to, I'm, I'm kind of thinking people don't know what this is or either that or they're just curious and or maybe they know about it or they're just curious and they want to know more about it. So I'm curious actually to ask you all watching today if you've heard of this, um, and if you've even heard the term. Uh, or the name tyrosine hydroxylase, because um, I, I don't remember actually where I first heard about this, but I, you know, I took bio, I'm a biology major, so I have a bachelor's in biology, and so I'm familiar with enzymes and things like that, but I wasn't familiar with any connection, you know, for example, with Parkinson's disease and something like tyrosine hydroxylase. <clears throat> I mean, tyrosine is one of our essential amino acids. We use it in all kind of bodily functions, but uh, apparently there's an enzyme called tyrosine hydroxylase. So what does that do? Well, um, that's what we're going to talk about in the video and how it pertains to Parkinson's. So I don't want to do a big spoiler, but essentially, the briefly what I would want to say is that uh, tyrosine hydroxylase actually is what's uh, basically controls the amount of dopamine produced uh, ultimately. So tyrosine hydroxylase helps to basically create the chemical environment that is required for the molecule of dopamine to actually be produced. So there's several steps in there, and uh, tyrosine hydroxylase is in chemical terms, or I guess in biological, biochemical terms would be um, a, what's called a rate-limiting step. So we'll talk a, lot, a little bit more in detail about that. But um, <clears throat> let me put a... I wanted to see if I could put a poll up, uh, at least for YouTube. Uh, that'll take too long. I'm just, I'm just going to talk about it. So let me know in the comments. Um, by the way, if you're watching live, tell me you're here. I'd like to give you a shout out. And, um, and let me know in the comments if, you, if you've even heard of this before. Um, obviously, this is something natural that's produced in the body. It's not something you take. But um, there are some... Uh, I guess I should say is some research going on and seeing if there is a potential to have tyrosine hydroxylase play a part in treatment of Parkinson's disease and why that's important or why it could actually be necessary will be talked about in more detail in the video coming up. Um, so that is that. <laughs> that. That's basically the upcoming content, but um, I really was just curious to find out if anybody had heard about this because it, it, um, I think it might have been either a comment that I had seen somewhere on the channel, or I honestly do not remember where I got the idea. But I decided to poll the audience and say, "Hey, do you want to hear about tyrosine hydroxylase? How it connects with Parkinson's?" And that was the the more positive response compared to the other topics. So I think it was three three possible topics. Um, so, by the way, just as a tip, if you're reading anything, if you're not medical, if you're not scientifically mind, I shouldn't say minded, but if you haven't studied, um, like as a science major or anything, if you're reading biological information or just reading about medical things, 
and you see something with the the suffix ase like hydroxylase ase that's an enzyme so just so you know um, typically that's an enzyme and there's all kind of different enzymes that you'll hear about um, and there's enzymes involved in some of the parkinson's medications uh, so there's um, catechol-methyltransferase that's uh, what COMT inhibitors block the, the uh, activity of that enzyme. And then uh, the other would be um, MAOB, uh, monoamine oxidase, oxidase B. So anyway, just a little biology lesson there. And uh, there's a bunch of you watching right now, but it's really quiet in the comment sections. <laughs> so that's okay. I don't mind that at all. I just was going to invite you to say something as far as, especially if you have questions while I'm on here live or comments about this topic. Um, I don't, don't know what much else to say is there about content. I, I do say, uh, you probably saw the live stream that we did, um, but it really wasn't live. It was a that was made public. The interview with Dr. Bernstein, that was really well received. And, um, you can find that over on our channel, of course, and I've posted it here on Facebook as well. Um, and what was I going to say about that? So, something that you might be that might be of interest to you is, um, you know, with that interview was done live. Um, I'm I'm probably going to is whatever we do future interviews. I'd like to still keep them as a live format because I love the idea of having audience participation and questions from people watching and listening. But um, I'm not 100% sure. But I I want to I want to make sure that you know that you definitely are going to have early access to that content as far as like memberships to our channel. So just consider that uh, to support our content. And that's about all I got to say. So I'll make this a short one. Um, and uh, just be sure to look for that. It's usually, I've actually pushed the times back to the to premieres of new videos to about 9 a.m. my time and central time in the U.S. And one of the number one reasons is because just with a large family, sometimes it takes time to get everything started in the morning um, before um, I can be live to interact with you all during the live stream, or not live stream, but the premiere of the videos. So I also like to do polls. A live poll during the premiere um, to kind of engage the audience a little bit so that you can um, answer a question about things. Oh. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for watching. She said, uh, tried to comment and, and tre her tremors took her to a different video. Totally understand. I, I believe me, with all the clients I've worked with, <laughs> especially using a, a, if it's a smartphone or whatever. Um, Finger movements can sometimes go awry, but um, yeah, no idea what this substance is or how it impacts Parkinson's. Yeah, good. That's perfect because <laughs> to be able to watch this weekend and find out more, and it, I mentioned this earlier, I wasn't trying to make it a complete mystery, but in brief, Stacy, tyrosine hydroxylase is an enzyme that has a plays a big part in the brain's production of dopamine. So those connections will be a little more clear with the upcoming video, but. Um, it's also important in consideration of Parkinson's uh, of a treatment of Parkinson's symptoms and progression, uh, which I thought was interesting uh, when when I read through some articles on this, was that um, potentially it could impact progression um, in, in ter terms of managing the act activity of this enzyme when you have Parkinson's disease, which I hadn't considered that before. Um, because it does help produce dopamine, but if you have Parkinson's disease, overactivity of this enzyme could actually be detrimental. And in light of what we talked about with Dr. Bernstein in the interview a few weeks ago, that actually kind of makes sense. So I want to kind of try to put those pieces together for the video uh, that's coming up. So um, 9 a.m. Central Time is usually when we premiere those, as I mentioned a minute ago, um, on Saturdays. So you could be there that's great if not watch the replay and let me know what you thought and um would love to 
find out your thoughts on that. So appreciate you being here today and for, for your comments, Stacy. And um, anybody else watching that didn't comment, thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the premiere Saturday. Be empowered. Have a great afternoon.